I want to introduce you the new world uh, as a famous economist say many years ago we live interesting times so it's a uh, we are going to to uh, face hard times uh, and it's not or perhaps it's really connected with the COVID with the epid ep epidemic that we have right now and this is going to push up everybody you know to this new economy so for beginning I was uh, getting the example of the library so we are going to talk about sharing sharing means you know libraries because the library is the original and best example of sharing in the world of the physical tools in the world of the physical objects so we share a book and we can read that book many people only having one one piece and this is an amazing revolution from you know it's i think is from babylonia uh, in the times of Arsuban, uh, the library of arsubanipal which is uh, before of the library of alexandria uh, by the way i was in alexandria library last year with the in the at the ifla conference at the you know international federation of librarian association and i was presenting about sharing economy there so uh, the library as i was telling you is essentially based on resource sharing this is the idea of the revolution that we are having right now so uh, patrons people donate books resources to the library uh, when i was in india uh, i didn't realize about what was happening in this revolution and i was offering to consider uh, examples of libraries like i don't know seats library toys libraries so that was the old system now i changed my mind so we couldn't imagine that we can share a house that we can share a car that we can share our clothes this is a kind of new so the new message the revolution is share instead of owning own is the old world share is the new world or that is what is going to happen perhaps it's because we are generous because we want to share with our friends with not only our family not only our community even with unknown people but now with the this situation of the world uh, with poverty increasing with more you know inequalities perhaps sharing is the only way to survive so there is like two phases of sharing in it's not like an optimistic view it's not a pessimistic view it's just a scientific view that means this is what is going to happen you can believe or not but uh, you can accept it like later or instead of that and this is the message of this conference you can be ready you can adapt yourself to be the first to get into the new world so what the sharing economy has to do is to coordinate this sharing of goods and services and before that was difficult we need a library to store all the books in order to share them and we need some people working in the library in order to be able to coordinate the management of these resources but with the revolution of the digital world the digital revolution as some some people said then we are able to do that using the digital platforms and this is kind of new phenomenon because we are able to share things that before was impossible because we cannot agree about when how how much we are we want to pay you have to remember that there are public libraries and private libraries and some of these libraries has a different future they cannot continue being or doing the same business i guess the academic libraries the libraries of the university at the universities they have future because people uh, are able to read books as before and sometimes 
they used to be used to do that so they want to continue but for the new young people sometimes they are not able to even read some text and they prefer the screen view so this is you know it's going to be a problem for the traditional way of doing libraries so uh, for this new message in the old world we say we can share but there is always a limitation of how many people can share you know the reading of a book for example this was a this was a slide that i i present in india and i got it because for librarians it's, it's cool to understand that you know a book doesn't mean one person it could be like even 13 14 15 people together okay but with the digital revolution with the digital platforms we can share a book 7000 million people at the same time this is a big change it's not you know something generous you can have your own book in a digital way so libraries are important but it's a revolution what means a revolution it's an amazing change a change which change everything so sharing has some limitations but we can use the platforms in order you know to skip these limitations if you want a hotel there is just one hotel but if you can provide information about all the hotels in the world then you can choose a different hotel which could be is empty or is empty during the winter so we can use in a different way the same goods and services that we used to have so we have examples of sharing that do, we don't realize now with the COVID crisis we understand the meaning of hospitals hospitals are places where you know we share resources we don't have a machine of x-rays for every person we have an x-ray machine which is very expensive for i don't know one million people one thousand people depends on how rich your country is even for you know uh, working in the fields normally uh, we can use uh, several communities can use the same machines in different times of course because we are talking about physical goods but if we talk about uh, digital goods then we can share all of them at the same time this is called um, in economics public goods and public goods doesn't mean that uh, it belongs to the government or the public uh, state okay this is the typical mediterranean culture that you can understand because it's kind of funny you you understand this culture because you have watched it it's in the movies uh, this is the pizza you know normally you don't get a pizza for yourself if you are with friends at least if you are alone of course there is no other person that can share in our culture normally we ask like small plates and you just choose whatever you want from all the plates so it's kind of sharing applied to food which is quite a visual but you know new forms of sharing are emerging with the possibilities of the digital platforms for example in the library the big change you don't need to go to the library to get a book you don't need to go to the library to get as i do like 20 books with two bags you know that and they sometimes they they ask me to return them because they uh, i have to update my account or i don't know i was late for one of them so i have to renovate all of them and uh, this is over okay you can get the whole library for free for example in spain if you buy an iPad or a, it wasn't an iPad, a tablet, okay, a tablet for reading books, they give you for free all the old books that have no copyrights, you know. So you get uh, all Spanish books from, you know, 19th century to the 10th century. That is, I think, uh, the beginning of the, of the important books in Spain, not the Bible, of course. So this is a revolution for the libraries. You don't need to loan some books. 
you can learn the library and for free, which is worse or good. So we have to think life, we have to think economics, we have to think library from a, an absolutely new perspective. Uh, I am a, a teacher of economics. Uh, I, have a, I have a MOOC, but it's in Spanish language, of course, which is about local development. I created it for South American countries, especially for, you know, Cuba, Peru, and countries that speak the same language as I do. So my university is connected with them. And the only message that you get in a class, I used to teach in the, four, um, the fourth year of the grade of political sciences. Uh, then I just can summarize, like the only important thing is creativity. You have to be creative. This is the only solution for whatever problem. Change your mind. Okay, so this is the new world. We don't move across the streets. We move across the telematics channels. So we have to create from the library perspective a different community, thinking about the new resources and the new possibilities that the revolution of the sharing economy and of course, you know, the digital revolution let us to use. So this is, I got this as a, it's an, uh, I think it's a Spanish company, even if it's in English, that uh, it was like, like homework for whatever student, uh, especially when you finish your, your grade, your master or your PhD, that uh, you can apply your knowledge to society so you can, you know, try to think about what do you want, what can you give to society, what can you provide to your community. So just think about a future that, how oh, American says, rocks. Okay, ambition, a nice future, your future. And this, just focus about giving, you know, your potential for creating okay, with your resources, your capabilities, the assets that you need, Yes, uh, you can uh, get them from communities, from colleagues, from students. Uh, uh, I was, uh, later I will tell you, I was proposing as a solution for the crisis of the libraries in Italy that I have to give a talk uh, next September and I will go to Milan if COVID lets me, of course, about uh, that they can use people, use in a positive way, of course, they don't need librarians for helping the libraries. They need engineers, they need economists, they need lawyers, they need whatever resource that can help, that can, you know, support or give uh, any positive value to the library and then connect all of them, you know? Just uh, at the end, we need like a, a brain a creation combining internal and external affair, uh, assets that uh, can provide this future that is possible because you envision before. Okay, this is what is happening in the capitalist. This is a, it's a, mm, mm, a website where people place uh, PowerPoints. Okay, I was interested about the revolution. In America, they call the jig economy which is economy on demand. So I need something, I need an hour of cleaning. So I just hire using my uh, the APP, you know, the, the application in the mobile telephone or the cellular. And then I get, you know, this person working for me one hour doing that cleaning. So this is kind of, we can call resetting capitalists. It's capitalist 2.0 or 3.0 as there is a book that I am using that is called Capitalism 3.0. There are two books that I'm using in my last article too, which are called Turbo Capitalism. That means, you know, the extreme capitalists or the savage capitalists of the digital platforms, according if you are positive or negative about the future. Okay, so they, here is a, a Nordic a website or Nordic book, and they are talking about, you know, they are new kind of jobs. One had a million new jobs, but they are not telling what is happening with the old jobs that they go down. 
they disappear, okay? Because the machines and some services, like, you know, in the Uber, for example, they are in place of the people who used to work in taxis. Okay, this is the paradigm in economics. And according to the projection, by 2020, we are in 2020, Trump's, Trump's time, the time of Donald Trump, 40% uh, of Americans are going to be, we can call freelancers, people who has no a real job, okay? The old system is you have a chain with your factory. You spend there the whole day, even sometimes like a slave, but you have like a house for working, a factory, and you belong to the factory. Uh, much younger, I have a girlfriend, which was Japanese, I was in Japan and I understood how the system, the Japanese system works. And then uh, you, you marry the company, we can say. Okay, my, my girlfriend, in fact, was serving, you know, coffees or teas to the people because uh, that was the, the beginning of the job, okay? In the new system, in the new world, you work for several companies. You don't have like a reference company sometimes. And if you are good or you are brave, then they hire you for several small works. Okay? So it's a change of the way we think the employment. It's a shift away. Okay, this is uh, the movement in Europe and America. So it was an international meeting. They call it we, that means yes, in French language, we share. And in English, it has this familiar sound of we, as we share. So this is the new paradigm. Instead of telling you like, I'd rather take you home, they say, I'd rather you take me home, okay? Because we are sharing one day I drive, the other day you drive. So both, you know, arrive, we reach our destination, but we share the way. And, and this means saving money, saving electricity, saving time perhaps, or sometimes, no. And uh, of course, this is very good for, you know, for the roads with half of the cars, perhaps. We have a revolution that means change everything. The idea of money disappear. Money is a problem in economics anyway, because it's a problem of belief. If you believe in God, God exists. If you believe in money, money exists. It's just paper, okay? But in the new world of, you know, the digital world, we have currency which is digital, like the Bitcoin, for example. But sometimes the money uh, we use, like in the old system, we change information as money. For example, here, there was this website which is called Pay with a Tweet. Okay, if you say I like in Twitter or in Facebook, then that's like, okay. So I let you to use Twitter or I let you to use Facebook as far as you give me 20 tweets every month. So it's a different currency. It's a different thinking. So the, the message is, you know, collaboration. And we share creates unique collaboration. This is the new world. Okay. And uh, according to the old economics organization and the new economics organization. I, I'm talking about economics because for me, economics is everything. Okay, when we are, you know, in the fields, just working in the lands, for me, it's economics. When you are sharing information with your friends, for me, it's economics. When you give a kiss to someone, for me, it's economics. So that's why I'm thinking about uh, the world from an economic perspective. So we, skip the old system, which is uh, hierarchical, for a new system which is more organic. As uh, Rajesh was telling you, uh, I belong to the System Science Society. In fact, I'm participating, I'm participating uh, right now, and I, I, I used to have to go to Moscow, but I'm pretty sure we are not going. So we postpone the World Conference of cybernetics and systems in Moscow for 2021. If someone is interested in attending, it still is going to be reopened. Perhaps we will do 
a virtual meeting in September because it was planned for the end of this September. Okay, so in the new system, you know, the organization is more which is called peer-to-peer, P2P. That means, you know, small points. When, for example, we say that GPS is a collaboration, means that when you turn on your telephone, you are telling a satellite, I am here. And this is information that you are providing to the satellite. Some people say, you know, I, I used to turn off my telephone because I don't want to be controlled or so much control, but uh, people don't mind. So people are not thinking about these concerns, okay? So uh, it's a mentality, we can say, more open to share. So we don't care if the government knows everything about me. What is the one of the positive messages of the sharing culture or the sharing economy? Uh, at the beginning, all the movement began with a, a definition of sharing uh, from the consumption perspective. It was sharing consumption. That was the original. And in the sharing consumption means that you share. As we say, we share the books, but the books belong to the library. Or we can share the books and they don't belong to the library. For example, uh, it was uh, an idea in Spain that you uh, let a book in a place and the book write its route along the places that the book visits. So, for example, Rajesh gave me the book when I was in India last year or two years ago, and then uh, I just write, you know, my name there, I read the book and I give to my neighbor or to a visitor from Colombia, and then the book travel to Colombia and has, you know, this route written. So that means that many people can share a good and sometimes services too, of course. So this is a, a dangerous, it's a positive because we share, that means it's more sustainable. Sustainable means that with the same resources, with the same goods, more people can enjoy can use so we save money we save resources but there is a, a negative side too you know and this is the image that you can get from matrix when at the at the end of the movie say market failure okay the system is crash and the system right now is crashing in united states because people has no job and right now has no protection in my country for example the government uh, is a socialist government is protecting the people who has no job but uh, in other countries, like, I don't know, in India, perhaps, people need to work for getting money. Otherwise, they cannot survive. But the, the new revolution is not about physical goods. It's about information. Okay? So, some companies, we sometimes we have fear of the state. I don't know, the KGB, for example, or the CIA, you know, in the United States. I don't know the name of the of the secret services in India, because they, they don't, I don't haven't seen a movie about that. <laughs> so the government controls all the information. What is the fear or what is the danger in the new system, in the new sharing economy system? Some, company, some companies have all your data, have all your information. So they know where you go, for what, for how long, what, which way you use, and all this, you know, is collected. For example, I remember it was uh, a, present, uh, uh, a documentary that they, they were talking about that they can, they can know uh, if some people visit some areas uh, according to the days, according to the routes. Even uh, I was arguing the other day about if Google, for example, was a collaboration company. And I said, yes. And Google was for free, and you shared your data. Some people collected anonymous data, and they can know, of course, uh, making some work, that the, there was a person who was sick and has this illness, and he lives in this area, and you can even reach the person if you are smart enough, okay? Okay, I'm a little late, but it doesn't matter. So what is the positive, the best amazing example that we can find today about this future, Wikipedia. 
Wikipedia is the best way of collaboration. The production, the product, is like an, a big encyclopedia that everybody can use from whatever place in the world. Which is the, the, the difficult part? Sometimes people don't agree about what is the meaning of truth. I'm, right now I'm writing an article about fakes. Uh, and there is a lot of fake in economics. But there is a lot of fakes too in history. So you remember that, you know, history is written by the winners, okay? I learned the word history in, in, in a program that I love, is Ancient Aliens in the American TV. And uh, uh, when they are the Indians about talking about the past, you know, the Indians fighting the gods and goddess fighting in the sky, and they call it Itihasa. So some people can, you know, argue if this is true, this is not true, if there was a real fight, you know, in the skies or not. Okay, so this is the Iraq example. So information, today is money. According to that sentence, librarians are rich. Okay, for example, here is a very interesting example. You know, they offer for free lemonade and they talk to you and they get your information. And he is selling, you know, it's free, but you know, they are selling you. They are selling your information, which is more valuable. Okay, because the, the business of Uber is not taking people to places. The business of Uber is the information which is collected. Otherwise, the company has no value because has no assets, has no cars, has no graders, has nothing. Okay, just some offices, very rich right now, by the way. Okay, and young people are able to understand and to move in the new world, in this new environment. Okay, young people sometimes are the a synonymous of change because, you know, they want uh, things different. Here you have uh, more examples of what is the meaning of the new life. I think this is very unhealthy to be, you know, in front of a computer the whole day. Uh, I prefer to go to the beach, so I, I would skip the, the left side, but uh, that's interesting, you know, uh, some people. So sometimes if you work in a company of games, you cannot understand when you are working and when you are I don't know, enjoying or having fun. So they call it playbor, like the mix of play and labor. Okay. So we are talking about a different economy, which is going to be more diversified. It's not a solution, it could be a problem for many people. Okay. But uh, what is different is we are not talking just to our neighbors. We are talking like now, you know, I'm talking to you from my city that was unbelievable like 10 years ago or 20 years ago. So we cannot imagine what can happen, you know, perhaps I could be physically in a cyber way, you know, at your place, just, you know, sitting on a table and talking to you directly with an image like in the Star Wars, you know, when, when they, they you have in a screen. Okay, so for summarizing, uh, uh, Italian libraries, they were organizing a conference. I was telling you before about that. I have to go to Milano and I have finished my article and I translated my suggestions for uh, Italian libraries about what can libraries do in the new world. You know, when the library is over, what is the role of the librarians? So the librarians can not only help people to read books, or to learn how to read. They can educate society in a critical way. That's the important thing. We have to rethink every single thing because everything is going to change and we have to be there. We could go further. Further means, you know, growing. Instead of doing in the old way, we can be the center. The libraries can be the community service centers because the librarians got the most important asset in the new digital world, which is information, okay? So we have libraries could be like community service centers. Uh, we can go even more and we can 
create sharing cooperation in the library. We can be like nodes of the network. So we can promote activities and even we can create a new world. We can create a new economy. We can create even money. I was telling you about money. You can create digital money for the library, for the communities. And even in a digital way, you can share your money and you can use your money in Delhi or you can use your money if the librarians are smart, like in Wikipedia, you can use your money in the United States or in South Africa. As far as you know, you are able to provide this connectivity and to agree with other parts of the world, like you do in Wikipedia. Sometimes you are not, a, you don't agree, but sometimes you agree about, you know, what is correct or what is possible. Okay. And uh, finally, I have this, which is more for companies, but for platform business companies that uh, you can use as an idea of, you know, like before of ambition, your ideas or the future that you would like. So you can have, you know, these 10 steps in order to move your business to your library, your whatever, to the new system, to the new world of the platforms. Okay, uh, I think uh, I have talked about many, many different things. And uh, I guess we can share or we can mm, have questions or uh, some talk about whatever subject or whatever idea that you want to share in the group. Thank you.